Hello everyone, Carolyn here and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will be showing you my own original design and this is the Gambler bracelet. It is a 10 pin bar design and this is how you will want your loom set up with your two most center pin bars, your fifth and sixth aligned, going up a staggered step twice and then your next pin exactly the same level as your previous and then going down a staggered step. I will be showing you the band placement on this rendition and I wanted to let you know that this bracelet is 21 gaps and is still rather short. So I will be going a two full loom lengths. Okay, I'm going to be using white for my perimeter which is the jelly blue that you see going along the edges here. And I'm just going to place two for my centermost pin bars and then work my way to the edge of the loom. And this will be a standard perimeter, there won't be anything fancy about this one. Again, just work your way to your edge and then straight up your loom. Okay, and then again, same thing, mirror image opposite side. Follow your loom around to the edge. And then go straight up your loom, okay? I'm going to go off, finish mine up to the top, and then I'll be back to show you how to close. Be right back. Alright everyone, so I've made it to the top of my loom, and to close it off, what we're going to do is go down at an angle, and then across, and then up at an angle, and then down at an angle. And then we're going to do the same thing, mirror image, so down at an angle, across, up at an angle, and then down in an angle, and then you want to leave that open for our capping band. So now we are ready for our next band placement step. We are going to be working with the first, second, ninth, and tenth pin bar, and it is the purple that you see going along both edges here. I'm going to be using black, and what we are simply going to do is just place a zigzag all the way up our loom, up the first and second and pin bar, just working all the way up. to do the same thing mirror image for the opposite side just placing your zigzag and continuing all the way up your loom just going back and forth between the ninth and the tenth and the first and the second okay so fairly easy so I'm gonna go off finish mine up to the top and I'll be right back for our next band placement step all right, everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next band placement step in this rendition. It is the yellow and uh, green jelly that you see going along here and also here. We're going to be working with the second, third, eighth, and ninth pin bars. And what we're going to start by doing is placing our yellows. So I'm going to take two of that color, which I'm going to be using the um, zebra stripe. So you're going to go forward on your third and then down at an angle to your second. And then you're going to come back with whatever color you want your green color to be. I'm going to be using red and you're going to go straight across. And then you're just simply going to repeat that all the way up your loom. So forward on your third, down at an angle to your second, across with your secondary color. And then again, whoop, that one just fell right out of my hand, forward down at an angle and then across with your secondary color and then repeat that and you're going to do the same thing mirror image for eight and nine you're going to go forward on your eighth down at an angle to your ninth across to your ninth forward down at an angle across forward down at an angle Oop, let me get it on there. Okay, and then across. And then simply repeat that all the way up your loom for your second, third, eighth, and ninth pin bar. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back for our next band placement step. Alright guys, I'm back and we are ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the orange and red jelly that you see going along here and along here. We are going to be working with the third, fourth, seventh, and eighth pin bars. And I'm going to be using white for my orange and black for my red. Okay, and so you want to start off with your red 
your corresponding color by going forward and then you're going to take your secondary color and go up at an angle and simply repeat that all the way up your loom. So go forward with your A color, diagonally with your B, forward with your A, and then diagonally with your B, repeating that all the way up your loom. And then again, same thing, mirror image for the opposite side. So go forward with your A, diagonally with your B color, forward again, diagonally, up, forward, and then again diagonally. And just repeat all the way up your loom. But I also wanted to show you on the very last step that this is how we would close it off. You want to go straight forward and then down in an angle. There's no need to put a um, horizontal band across. Okay, so I'm going to go off, finish these steps up to the top, and then I'll be back for our next band placement step. All right, everyone, so this is how the top of your loom should look for the last step. And so now we are ready to move on to our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the purple and blue jelly that you see going along the center here. We are going to be working with the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bar, and we are going to be alternating colors. I'm going to be using red for my purple, and then the zebra stripe for my blue. Okay, and we are going to start off by laying our purple first, and we're going to start on our fifth pin bar and go forward, and then go down at an angle, and then take our B color and go up at an angle. And then we're going to repeat that all the way up your loom. So go forward, down at an angle, your B color, and go up, and then forward, down an angle, and then again with your B color and go up. And then we're going to repeat the same thing, mirror image for the opposite side. So go up on six, down at an angle to seven, and then we're going to take our B color and go up at an angle to the right. And then go forward. Oh, come on, lay right. And then down at an angle. And then up at an angle to the right. Last time. Up. Down an angle to the right. And then up an angle to the right with our B color. And then you're going to continue that all the way up your loom for your fifth, or excuse me, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bar. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and we are ready for our final band placement step minus our capping bands. And in this rendition, it is the yellow and green jellies that you see going up the center here. And I do suggest that you use stretchy bands just because of what we're going to be doing and how we're going to be placing them. We're going to be working with the fifth and the sixth pin bar. And what we're going to do is place a triangle across these three pins. And in this rendition, I alternated colors. I will be doing that again. You don't have to do that. You can use one color if you prefer, but I'm going to take um, the next color, which will be black, and continue. Oops, sorry guys, that's my alarm. And continue all the way up my left side, alternating between the black and the white, all the way up, okay? And then once you get, um, all the way up your left side or if you care to to place both at the I mean at the same time yeah okay um, you just alternate again with the black and the white going across three these three pegs this time just placing on um, pushing them down as you go again come on get on top there we go and then alternating finally with my white okay so I'm going to continue that all the way up my loom and then when I get back we'll be ready to start our looming steps so I'll be right back all right everyone I'm back and I've gotten my loom turned around and now we're ready to place our capping band for our fifth and sixth our centermost pin bars you want to use two and just double them up across those two pin bars and then we're going to be placing a triple loop cat band on our fourth pin bar. And then on our second pin bar. Again, just triple loop bands. And then on our seventh. 
and then on our ninth. Okay. And so now we are begin, uh, ready to begin our looming steps. We're going to start with our fifth and sixth pin bar. And what we're going to do is go in behind the cat band, grab our topmost band, and pull it up and to the right. And then we're going to go in behind the black band and grab our white band and pull it up and to the left. And then we're just going to simply repeat that all the way up our loom. So we go in, grab our topmost band up and to the right, push back the white band and grab our black and then up and to the left. And then just alternate back and forth all the way up the loom. making sure to push that second band back. When you go in, push that band back to grab that one. So you're cinching it all together, okay? So I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back for our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next looming step. We are going to be working with the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bars. And what we're going to do, we're going to go in and grab our diagonal band and bring it back to its home post and then go forward with our other band and then we are going to cross back over with our other diagonal band and then repeat that all the way up the loom so out to the left forward up and to the right and forward or excuse me up into the left forward and then up and to the right with our diagonal. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all the way up your fourth and fifth pin bar for your um, sixth and seventh pin bar. You're going to go in, grab your topmost band, and bring it out to itself, and then go forward and go in and grab your diagonal and cross back over, and then repeat. So go in out to the right, forward, and bring your diagonal back to the center, and then out to the right, forward, and then up and to the left. Easy, easy step, okay? So continue that up for your fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bars. I'm gonna go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back for our next looming step. Everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the third, fourth, seventh, and eighth pin bar. And what we're going to do is go in and grab our forward band and go forward, and then go in and grab our diagonal and bring it back down, and then repeat. So forward, and then down. I can get it on there. Forward, and then back down. One more time on this side, forward and then back down and then we're going to repeat the same thing just mirror image on the opposite side so go in and go forward Aha. and then go in and go down diagonally forward down diagonally forward and then down diagonally forward and then down diagonally and then to repeat that all the way up your loom, I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back for our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back, and we are ready to move on to our next looming step. We're going to be working with the second, third, eighth, and ninth pin bars. And what we're going to do is go in and grab our diagonal band and loom it back upon itself to its home post. And then we're going to do the same thing with our vertical band. We're going to go in and pull it forward and now we're going to work with our horizontal band we're going to be going to be doing a reverse cuff stitch so we're going to go in and grab our band and just hold it and now we're going to go in between these two bands and inside of our peg you want to go above your horizontal band so i'm going to be grabbing everything above my red band okay so I'm going to push my hook up through the peg and grab that red band and then bring it back down. Okay, and this part is going to be a little bit tricky because you want to also grab it through that band. 
okay you might need to get two hooks or um, use two nimble fingers if you if your hands are nimble like that okay so that's what we're aiming for right there so again to, to move on we're going to push back that red and grab our next diagonal band and loom it back and go in and grab our vertical and loom that forward and now we're going to do the reverse cuff stitch again so we're going to go into the second pin and grab our band and then hold it go in between those two bands ab above the red and up through our peg to grab our red and then bring it back down and again you might need to I'll get a secondary hook just to kind of make it a little bit easier I've got an itty bitty hook and we're going to grab that red and then bring it back around the original peg that we pulled from okay and then just repeat all the way up your loom so vertically or excuse me diagonally then vertically and then we're going to go in grab our horizontal and hold it go in between and above our red or your horizontal color and grab that red band bring it down and around and then take your next hook to grab it so you can continue to bring it around the peg and then just bring it back around the peg okay and then again you're going to go diagonally vertically and now you do your reverse cuff stitch so grab it in between your bands above your horizontal up through your peg Grab that band, bring it back and around, okay, and then once you have it on your other hook, oh, and sometimes that happens, it's alright, don't get frustrated with it, it's an easy fix. Just go in and again grab it bring it down and around and back to the original peg that it came from okay one more time on this side and then I'm gonna hop over and show you on the opposite side again you want to go diagonally vertically up and then your cuff stitch you go in grab that band in between those above your horizontal up through your peg grabbing your oop, I didn't grab it grabbing your red and bringing it back down and around And grab the opposite end and then pull it over to your original peg and then you just place everything back on the way it should be okay and so now I'm going to show you the opposite side it's going to be the same thing mirror image I'm going to go in go diagonally vertically go in and pick up your diagonal band okay go in between but above your red or your horizontal grab your band and I just pulled everything off don't want to try to do that okay. uh, I think I got both ends only want one end Come on, come on, there we go. And now go underneath that band to 
to grab your, and bring it. I think I'm gonna grab a rainbow rainbow loom hook. I think that might be easier. Up and around, okay? So again, I'm going to go in, take your diagonal band, your vertical band, and you're going to go in and grab your horizontal, and then you can just hold it in between, above your red, and up your peg. Okay. And grab your red, bring it back down. And then once you have it, bring it back and around your original peg. Do it one or two more times with you on this side, and then I'm going to leave you off. So you go up at an angle, straight forward, and then go in and grab your vertical band. Okay, and then again, you want to go in between, but above your red or your corresponding color. Push your hook up to grab your red. Oop. Don't let your bands come off like mine just did. And if it does, it's okay. It's an easy fix. Just go in and pull this one back straight forward up. Okay, easy fix, see? Again, in between, but above your red. Feed your hook up to grab it. And then bring it back down and around. And then you want to go underneath this band to grab your red. It's come off that hook, but that's okay. Grab your red or your corresponding color, and then just bring it back, okay? I'll do it one more time with you, and then I'm going to leave you off. Again, you're going to go in, grab your vertical band, and pull that forward back to its home post. Or excuse me, your diagonal band, then your vertical band. And now you're going to grab your horizontal, okay, and then again, you want to go in between your two, above your horizontal color, into your peg. It's so much easier on the right side for whatever reason, I guess because it's just easier for me, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, but then you want to go underneath with your secondary hook to grab your red and bring it back and around your peg. Okay, and so continue that for the remainder of your loom. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back with our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the first, second, ninth, and tenth thin bar. And we're just going to go in and loom our zigzags back upon themselves. Just alternating back and forth all the way up our loom. And then we're going to do the same thing, mirror image for the opposite side. Go in and just loom each band back to their corresponding home post. All the way up your loom. Okay. All right, guys. So continue that. I'm gonna go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be back for her final um, looming step. Be right back. All right, everyone. I'm back, and we're ready for our final looming step, which will be our perimeter. We're gonna start on our fifth pin bar and just work our way back around to the edge of our loom. And then once we get to the edge of the loom, we're simply going to go straight up. I'm going to do the same thing, mirror image for the opposite side. Go in and pull each one back to their corresponding home post. Yeah, come on. And then straight up our loom. Okay. So I'm going to work my way to the top and I'll be right back um, to show you how to close. 
All right, everyone, so I've made it to the top of my loom, and to close it up, you're just going to continue following to the center of your loom. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing, mirror image for the opposite side. Go in and pull it back to the corresponding home post all the way to the edge. Or to the center, rather, excuse me. All right, and then once we get to the centermost pin bars, we're going to go in and grab our two drop bands. You can go ahead and put your C clip on that half. And then go in and grab your other two. Oh, no, I got one on that one. And now you can go ahead and pull it off of your loom. I do suggest you pull, um, use your hook and start from the outside and work your way to the center. And be careful with um, when you're removing your center because they have a lot of tension on it. So I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back with our finished bracelet. All right, everyone, I've got an Art Gambler bracelet off of the loom, and hopefully your rendition looks something like this. I hope you have enjoyed today's design and tutorial. If you have, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe by hitting the little button below. If you do decide to make a rendition, please make sure to tag me and hashtag Gambler Bracelet on Instagram. That way I can see all of your beautiful renditions in one place. And that'll be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Loom on Loomers. Bye-bye.